All right, here we are on departing day. Today is the 6th of November. It is 9.10 and uh, we're doing a final check. Today we're leaving Port Macquarie and we're going to Crescent Head, right? Or Crescent yeah. Point? Crescent, Crescent Head. Head. It's between Port Macquarie and our next stop, Yamba. So on our trip, um, we're going to drive an hour and then there are supposed to be some really nice beaches. Surf Paradise. Surf Paradise or something like that. And, um, and then we're going to spend the day there and then we're going to um, we're going to Yamba. Sometimes opening the fuel hatch is very difficult. I just luckily found this little thing right here. This one, not the trunk, this one. That pops a fuel latch. How am I supposed to know that? Good thing that I randomly just easily found it and I just guessed that that's it. But sometimes I've, I've had much different cars where um, I had to search for quite a while. JB Hi-Fi. Gonna get myself a new selfie stick. I'm waiting for the uh, Hi-Fi store to open right now. Right here. They're opening in, I think, five minutes or something. So I want to use this time to talk about our Airbnb experience here at Port Macquarie. So from our perspective, we rented a four-bedroom house um, as a couple with a baby and um, that is a, with that there is a certain fare. Now if you add people, they add um, overnight, overnight price, right? But because there's two, we have the minimum fare, which is I think 100, 100, uh, 100 dollars, 100 euros per night. Um, and uh, yeah, because there's only two of us. Now, for each additional person, I think they're charging another, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks. So anyway, but there's only two of us, so we're paying that, that minimum that minimum fare. Um, it's listed as a four bedroom house. Um, they have pictures of three of their bedrooms and, um, and in the rules or nowhere in the description does it say that they're going to not give us the four bedroom house when we rent it. So when we arrive, two of the bedrooms were locked. Um, well, we didn't agree with that because we rented a four-bedroom house. Now, their logic was that, well, there's only two. You're not paying for the extra people that would be occupying these rooms. So you're not getting access to them. And this is where the misunderstanding comes in. If I rent a four-bedroom house and, and on Airbnb, it specifically says whole property, right? So you can rent whole property or rooms or um, I think there's some other stuff, some other options. But we selected whole property. We're two people, so that's the overnight price, and then we rented this four-bedroom house. Um, now, that's my perspective. Their perspective is, you know, there's only two people staying there, so we're only gonna unlock this many rooms. Um, I think we're right, and they're wrong. They did unlock one extra room, so we actually had all the rooms that we needed, because when we look for places, we ideally have three, three bedroom space, one for Emily and me, one for Max, and one to spread out all our luggage. Um, the fourth one they didn't unlock. They offered in the end once we we're arguing, but we don't need the fourth one, so it's okay. They can keep that locked if it's that important to them. But anyway, so because of this disagreement, um, the first night we only had these two bedrooms, and as a matter of fact, we couldn't use one of them because they're at opposing ends of the place. Um, and if Max is in the other one and we're in the first one, then we couldn't hear him. We wouldn't be able to hear him. So we had to put him into the living room. Which, when you're renting a four-bedroom place that's advertised as very spacious, it's very annoying that 
when you get there, you you have to end up putting your son in the living room. Okay. Now, I don't blame them. That's how they're doing it. Uh, I kind of blame Airbnb because they're not clear on this. If you rent a place and you don't have the maximum amount of people that you can restrict the place, um, they should have a policy for that. Or at least, um, well, the renters or the, the, the owners should put it in their rules. So what we have done, because we didn't quite agree on it, we, we proposed that for the first night they just give us half the money back um, and we can keep the last room locked. That would be 50 bucks, but they, they didn't want to give us back the 50 bucks. Alternatively, they proposed that we stay that one night and then we get a full refund. And then we, and then we leave, um, which works out much worse for them. I mean, they get less money. It's very surprising to me. And then we said, no, we're not, we're not, we're not going to leave. I mean, we're unpacked and everything and uh, we're comfortable and where are we gonna stay? So I asked uh, through the official Airbnb system for the, the refund and uh, they declined. So now let's see what Airbnb says um, about the situation. And uh, let's see who was in the right at the end. I mean, we're talking about 50 bucks here. It'd be nice to get it back anyway. After like 50 minute drive, we arrive at Crescent Head and now we are looking for the... Now we're looking for the beaches. Ah, I think we found them. Hello. beach a little little channel right here that seems to have a stream well it's really fast water that's really fast water that's a stream that looks really cool we're gonna try that out I'm gonna go, let's go in the floaty stream. It's so nice, it's so flat. Put the opening in the front. Oh, that's, that's not very balancing, right? No, it's better because the water doesn't get stuck. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Get the clip it. And underneath. Wow, the sand is so awesome. I think this beach is cool. Yeah. Ew. Oh, oh, no, don't do that. Okay, we are, what, three hours and a half? Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Okay, we're done. We're done at the beach at Crescent Head or whatever it's called, and uh, we're going to go to Yamba now, straight. Three and a half hour drive. Hopefully, Max will sleep soon, and we're ready to go. We've got a lot of sun in. Taking so long to get there. Oh, why can't I go faster? I want to go faster. There's so much space. Look at this. I want to be up there. I want to be there. I want to be there. There's open. It's this all open road. I want to go there. Oh, it takes so long. And you know what sucks? I'm already speeding. I'm already going faster than I'm allowed to. See? I'm only allowed 110. That's the maximum speed limit in this country. The roads are perfect. Let me go faster. I must go faster. We arrived in our place in Yamba. This is it. From the outside, I will go inside in a second. But most importantly, do you hear this? Okay, N not the car. I, I don't know how the microphone is picking it up, but that's the ocean. We can hear it loud and clear. It must be right behind those trees back there. So that is awesome. So then, our little host is welcoming us already. Hi, danke, dass du hier aufgemacht hast. So, this right here is our, well, what do you call it, patio or balcony or outside area. And then we go inside through here, but there is also a door. So here we have the living room and kitchen area back there. This is a nice setup. There's the washer and dryer. Wonderful. And now we go up the stairs. Bathroom, a basic, not very spectacular. Okay, and we have one bedroom. Look at this, how cute is that? Got a surfboard on the wall right here. This will be Max's room. And then, oh, this is just lovely with these surfboards everywhere. <laughs> And then this is going to be our room. So, oh, this place is pretty bolted up, I guess. I guess we're staying at his place, the guy who owns this. And then we also have the balcony right here. So much outside space, that is just fantastic. Look at this, this is just nice. And this, I hope, is baby-proof, maybe? Eh, I think so. So this is great, this is just great. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Funny story, I did a walkthrough of the two places before as well. First place, I apparently didn't press record. Second place, I apparently didn't press record. Um, <laughs> how silly to do through two, two walkthroughs uh, and then not have any footage. Anyway, so that's this place. And uh, this is the last place. The next place will be the Sophie Tell in Brisbane. So that will be just a room. One thing Australia has for sure, that's a lot of space. 
There's so much space here. Now this is cool, it's a drive through alcohol store. So you basically drive in here. Yeah, woo! Yeah, woo! You drive in here, and then you order at the window, just like at McDonald's, and then, you know, they bring you what you're ordering, and then you drive on. Oh, 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 oh,